Hey guys, this is Patrick Lee from Slush Films, and today I'll be bringing you another tutorial on the Java programming language. So let's get started. Um, today we're going to be learning how to actually write, compile, and uh, run a whole Java application using TextEdit and Terminal. But on Windows, uh, Notepad and Command Prompt. So let's get started by first opening TextEdit, which I already have open here. I'm just going to create a new document and uh, for text edit to set it up you have to go to text edit preferences and go to the open save tab and make sure the add dot text extension to plain text files is selected and also under plain text file encoding under saving files make sure it's on unicode utf-8 so when that's set up you're good to go and for uh, windows just open up notepad by going to the start menu of course um, so um, once we're in our text uh, editor, we're going to uh, type. We're gonna, of course, run uh, type the code in. So before I get uh, into the code, I want to explain that right now you do not really need to un fully understand uh, what I'm gonna talk about right now. Um, in the next couple of tutorials, we're gonna be going in depth of everything, and we're gonna be learning this inside a real text editor, uh, a code editor uh, called Eclipse. And it's really good for Java. But anyways, um, yeah. So if you don't understand anything, don't worry because you're gonna uh, understand this later on. So let's first uh, save our file because we need to save it. But before you save it, um, and this doesn't apply for uh, Notepad, uh, go to Format and Make Plain Text uh, for the text edit on Mac. So then save it. We call it YouTube, and then we add a .java extension. So you know on Word, there's a .docs extension, the same thing, YouTube.java. And if you don't have this, it won't recognize it as a .java file. So we save that, and it's a .java file. Um, and then let's start writing the code. So first, we're going to type in class, and this is to uh, name, or this is just to start every Java document, you always type in class, and then let's name the actual thing. So let's call it YouTube, and make sure this YouTube is the same as what you uh, saved it as, or we'll say an error. So uh, next, we're gonna make some parameters here, and we're gonna put our method here, and this is uh, this is gonna tell the computer how you're gonna actually run the uh, the Java application, and we're gonna. Put a method here that it's very commonly used, and we're going to be using it for most of our tutorials. And it is public static void main string uh, square brackets args and ending off with the round brackets. So that is uh, pretty hard to understand right now, but uh, later on I'm going to be explaining what this means um, in depth. So uh, when we told our computer to uh, how we're going to run the Java document, we're going to put uh, another set of parameters and we're going to say to the computer what to actually do. So what are we telling it to do? Um, are we telling it to uh, make some apples? Are we, gonna, are we telling it to put some text on the screen? What are we telling it to do? And for this case, for this example, we're going to tell it to write, uh, to, to put some text on the screen. So to do this, we're going to type in system.out dot print ln uh, round brackets quotation hello world quotation square uh, round brackets and then we're gonna end it off with a semicolon to tell the computer we're gonna go to the next line so uh, it reads it like this so class YouTube then it, uh, it reads how you're gonna run it and then it reads what to do and then it uh, reads the ending of the job document so that is why we need to put a semicolon. If we don't have it there, it's going to say error. So uh, that is basically how uh, to write a simple application to say hello world. Um, you could change in, uh, whatever's inside this quotation, of course. And actually, yeah, I'm going to put that in there. Um, and let's save this. And this is how, before I get into the compiling uh, stage, I'm going to explain how Java works. So this is how Java works. Java is a very unique programming language, and this is why. Um, you first write the 
write the code of course in any text editor or whatever you want uh, and then what you do is you have to compile the actual dot java dot java document into a dot class document and a dot class document it's it's readable by the computer um, a dot java document is not readable by the computer so you have to compile it or change it or we can also say convert it to a dot class document so the computer can read it and then uh, we're gonna you have to run the actual dot class document and the next thing we're gonna do is compile the dot java document so let's go to a spotlight and search in terminal on windows it's a uh, you search in command prompt and uh, when we're on terminal or command prompt obviously uh, it's gonna load up and we're gonna first we have to first locate the uh, dot java document and since we and since we uh, saved it on the desktop, we have to go to the desktop. So to do this, we have to change the directory, which is CD, and then desktop. And this is only for Mac. Uh, let's go to, this is for Windows. Um, for Windows, you do type CD backslash, and this goes to the hard drive, the local hard drive. Um, make sure you save it on your local hard drive, um, because I don't know how to locate the an external hard drive. So, yeah, so for Windows people, save it on your local hard drive and then type in that. Okay, now back to the Mac. So once we um, once we got onto our desktop, we want to compile it. And the compiling code for this is Java C, which stands for compile, and then the name of the Java document. So the name is .youtube.java. Let's press enter. And um, if you save for Windows, if you saved it for... Uh, directly on your local hard drive um, then you could directly say Java YouTube Java but if you saved it inside the folder on your local hard drive or even further than that inside a folder inside a folder then you would do CD desktop and then press enter CD uh, CD um, what do you call mouse CD test uh, if they're uh, continuous folders uh, you just change the directory change the directory or faster way to do it is you can type CD uh, let's say the folder is called test and then you could do a forward slash and then an other folder name uh, Y and then the another but that's if you have multiple folders so right now in the Mac um, my terminal is quite slow, so it's not compiling the .java document really fast. So I'm gonna come back when it's done compiling. Okay, guys, we're now back, and uh, right now uh, we can tell that it's done compiling because it uh, brings up this little dialog here. So once it's done compiling, we can just check, double check if it's compiled, and as you can see, there's a dot class file with the dot java file. So here we can make sure that uh, it compiled. So once we checked it's compiled, we actually have to run the dot class file. And to do this, since we're already on our desktop, uh, we don't need to change the directory anymore. So we just type in Java without the C this time, and then YouTube. Okay, no dot Java extension. And the same thing goes for the uh, Windows here. So let's press enter, and as you can see, it says hello world. So uh, congrats, you made your first application, a uh, very simple one. Uh, indeed, but um, very uh, it's it's the basics. So you have to know the basics before you go to the advanced stuff. So um, that was just a quick tutorial on how to compile, run, and write a uh, Java application. And uh, you can like this video if you liked it. Uh, you can comment below if you have any questions. Please subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my Twitter and Facebook links down below. Hope this helped and see you guys later.